Okay, so in this video, we'll introduce the concept of compound interest, and we'll do that by comparing it to simple interest. So I would encourage you at this point to pause the video, familiarize yourself with the problem, and when you're ready to see the solution, restart the video. Okay, so in this problem, uh, we're discussing the Dutch West India Company's purchase of the island of Manhattan. And this occurred a long time ago in 1626, and as you can see in the problem, they got quite a good deal at $24. Um, if we view that $24 as an investment, and hypothetically, if we assume that someone were to, be, were to earn 8% interest, on average over all of these intervening years, 390 years, um, let's see what that investment would be worth under the concept of simple interest. So the first thing we do is convert what we know from the problem into our engineering economics variables. So um, we'll pretend that time t equal to zero is 1626 when the purchase was made. So our P is $24. We'll assume an interest rate of 8%, and the years between this year, 2016, and 1626, is 390 years. So really what we'd like to know is the future value. Now we're not going actually into the future, we're just saying that the future in the time value of money problem is... Um, 2016, the present, the time of the investment, was 1626, the year 1626. So, um, if we look at the formula for the future value of this $24 investment, really we can start out and say, well, it's whatever the investment was plus whatever interest was earned. And we'll put a little subscript there for, to denote simple interest. Um, so if we have our initial $24 plus what we learned in the previous video about simple interest, the simple interest is whatever the initial investment was times the interest rate times the number of periods. And so for this problem, our initial investment was $24 plus $24 times the interest rate of 8% times 390 years. So we just work out what that is. $24 times, or $24 plus the accumulated amount of simple interest over those 390 years is $748.80, giving us a total value of the investment of $772.80. So, for an investment horizon of 390 years, and a, by today's standards, a pretty good interest rate of 8%, we can see um, a rather unimpressive amount uh, of our investment after 390 years of $772.80. Well, let's contrast this to the concept of compound interest. So if we look at the same problem and assume that the 8% was not simple interest but rather compound interest, then the future value of the investment will be the present value times 1 plus the interest rate raised to the power of the number of years. Okay, so. Uh, or actually I should write that as n. And we'll just do that. So if I plug these numbers in, I've got $24, the amount of the initial investment, plus the 8% raised to the power of 390. So all that does is it takes 1.08 times 1.08 times 1.08, 390 times. And if you work out what that number actually is, you end up with a future value of the, the Dutch West India Company's $24 investment of 
260 trillion dollars. So you can see why this problem is often used to illustrate the difference between simple interest and compound interest. Um, the future amount of this investment is an incredible sum in comparison to the simple interest 8%, compound interest at 8%, uh, fairly high interest rate, very large number of years, gives us a very large value for the future value of the $24 investment. I don't think that the island of Manhattan today is worth $260 trillion. It's worth a lot, but probably not $260 trillion. So uh, if you were in fact able to earn 8% on a $24 investment for 390 years, uh, you can see you'd be fairly well off.